Well, it is the video the world was waiting for. This morning, a new clip has surfaced of Catherine, Princess of Wales, out and about for the first time since undergoing surgery. She's seen alongside Prince William at a farm shop, which is located close to their home. While originally there was no photographic evidence of the outing, onlookers say she looked happy and relaxed. Let's go live now to Daily Mirror Associate Editor Russell Myers. Russell, it's all going on here. <laughs> what do you uh, take from this video? What do you think? Well, good morning, guys. Well, it's the latest twist in this long-running saga, isn't it? And finally, we have seen some pictures or footage of the Princess of Wales after not seeing her for so long. She hasn't been at royal duty since Christmas Day. There was that pap image we saw a couple of weeks ago. But finally, looking happy and healthy, smiling, having a bit of a giggle with Prince William and on their own turf as well, just around the corner pretty much from their home uh, just in the shadow of Windsor Castle, taken over the weekend at a farm shop. And uh, it was just literally by chance from, a, from another shopper. So I suppose it all works well, not only for the shopper, who has no doubt uh, been paid handsomely for the video, but you've also got Kensington Palace, the pressure that they'd been coming under to release footage of the Prince of, Princess of Wales. And so uh, now we've seen her finally. So this is a win-win, Russell, isn't it? So there's, there's no suggestion that this was a, a collusion between the palace and some photographer. And we reckon this is just fed income a shopper who got lucky. Well, it certainly looks that way. I mean, listen, the conspiracy theories are going to keep on running, aren't they? We've had them in absolute abundance over the last few weeks about, you know, Kate's health, her condition, her whereabouts, where was she, people clambering for information, you know, all over the world. And I think that the sort of image that we're seeing is taken from someone's car. The shop in Windsor, which I've actually been to many, many times, lovely little shop, uh, family-owned, uh, as I say, just round the corner from their house, there's not many people who would be there. It's not like they've been in the middle of the street or a shopping mall. Or a shopping mall. It's a very, very sort of close knit community as well. So they weren't sort of jumped upon. They were just sort, sort of seen by another shopper and who took their chance. And uh, I think when you look at the footage, it's not very really long, but we can definitely see William and Kate having a bit of a giggle, having a laugh, and more importantly, Kate looks happy and healthy. Yeah, of all the things to come out that they would be unhappy about, you'd have to think. They're OK with this. As you say, it looks good. Well, it's certainly all their Christmases rolled into one, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the, the sort of uh, chaos that's been running through Kensington Palace over the last couple of weeks. I think there was a bit of clambering for information. The palace, or indeed, Kate may have felt pretty pressured into releasing that Mother's Day photograph that has absolutely exploded the world over when people were picking it apart on social media. Then we had the global photographic agencies, you know, pulling it from their libraries, saying it had been manipulated, and that created this huge, huge storm for the palace that they didn't really know how to deal with. But this feels organic. It feels that they're just sort of out enjoying themselves, and it's a win-win. It's great for Kate. We get to see her looking happy and healthy, and the palace must be delighted at it as well, because, you know, there won't be that pressure now to sort of release a video of yeah herself mm. or her with the children so it's a it's a win-win Russell uh, you say it feels organic yet how important is it given all the speculation about their marriage that the two of them are seen there shoulder by shoulder and smiling and laughing together that's a very powerful message given the speculation well it it is. I mean, you know, it, it will silence some of the naysayers, but it won't silence all of them. And I think that's, uh, unfortunately, the age that, uh, the, that the royal family are in at the moment. I mean, the Kensington Palace hit out at the madness of social media just a few days ago because it was absolutely out of control. And you had this sort of vacuum that was needing to be filled by some people, you know, questioning what Kate had had done uh, in health-wise, what surgery she'd had uh, performed on her, whether she was going to come back to royal duties, whether she was even still alive. Then you had the issues of why she was not wearing her wedding ring in the photograph. I mean, it was just on an absolute onslaught. And so I suppose for them, they can put this all to bed. They look happy. She looks healthy. As I said, for the palace, I think they'll be delighted that uh, that it's all come out in the wash and that she looks uh, she looks great. And so we'll just wait and see when she comes back to work now. I suppose mm. uh, they, they may bring that forward from from Easter, like they'd said, um, because uh, you know if she's if she's up to the job, then I suppose then she might want to come back to work early. Well, will this calm the media, the UK media, down just a little bit, or everyone sort of hungry like wolves still? 
Well, it's interesting. I mean, you know, pretty much uh, across the board, I would say the UK media have been very respectful as yourselves. But I think that what's happened is social media has absolutely exploded and we've been absolutely embedded in conspiracy theory. And that's not helpful for anyone. I mean, the palace are just caught in a huge, huge storm. They didn't really know how to necessarily deal with it. And I think for, for Kate as well, you know, let's not re forget that this is a woman who's had very serious surgery. She's had to rest and recuperate at home whilst all of this is going on around her. She might not be checking social media every day, but they're not immune to it. And I think you know, when the palace did say everyone needs to back off and, and be quite mindful of that, across the board, most people were, were. but it's a, it's a very different age dealing with social media these days. OK. Russell, great to talk to you as always. Next time you're talking to William, can you tell him to carry his wife's shopping uh, weeks after major <laughs> surgery when they're walking out in public? That would be a better look as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. I'll pass it on. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Thanks, Russell. Thanks.